Welcome back everyone, so the latest Iron Banner has concluded and in this video I'm going to be going over all the loot that I got from my rank 5 packages and any other drops that I got as well as my weekly crucible bounties. So first off with my Titan from the rank 5 package, I got the Iron Ghost Shell and the Iron Wreath D Sidearm. Now I've already gotten like 6 of these Ghost Shells, I really don't need this, so I'm just going to dismantle this Ghost Shell. The sidearm I got came with Rangefinder, which is pretty good, but then the rest of the perks are kind of meh. It came with Partial Refund, Snapshot, High Caliber Rounds, and Feather Mag. Now, I've already got an Iron Wreath D, which is better. It has Rangefinder, Outlaw, and Reinforced Barrel, so I'm just going to be dismantling the one that I just got. Moving on to my Warlock now, the Rank 3 packages that you get from the Crucible are kind of useless at this point, at least they are for me, because they only drop a blue artifact, which means that they cannot be infused and are stuck at 320 light, so that's just an instant dismantle for me. And then the Rank 5 package gave me an Ash Raven's Flight, the Fusion Rifle. Unfortunately, it didn't come with any good perks. It came with Surrounded, Life Support, Single Point Sling, Injection Mold, and Feather Mag. Now, I also already have another Ash Raven's Flight, which is practically God Roll. It has Hidden Hand, Hot Swap, and Burst Frame. It has near max stability and is so much better than the one that I just got, so this one is also going to be an instant dismantle. And lastly, for my Hunter, yet again, I got another Ash Raven's Flight from my Rank 5 package. Now, this one's actually even worse. This one came with Underdog and Icarus, which is pretty much a useless perk on fusion rifles. So, already, this one's also going to be an instant dismantle. It also came with Enhanced Battery, Injection Mold, and Feather Mag. Since this weapon is 335, whereas my previous two drops were 334, I can save this and infuse it into something else. So, those were my Rank 5 packages. Now, let's move on to my End of Match rewards. So, firstly, I got the Sniper Rifle Whaler Runs March. Now, unfortunately, this one isn't as good as the one that has been sold by Lord Saladin. The one that I got came with the Eagle Eye SLR-20, the Longview SLR-20, and the Ambush SLH-25. As well as Grenadier, Spray and Play, Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, and Small Ball. Next up, I got the Pulse Rifle Nairwind's Mercy. This one came with the Red Dot OES, the Ranged Lens RLR-5, and the Quick Draw IS as well as life support, which I actually don't mind this perk, I just don't want it on this pulse rifle, as well as glass half full, hand loaded, feather mag, and injection mold. So once again, some very average perks. Then I also got some iron companion boots, which I'm actually going to keep because it came with intellect discipline and increased sniper rifle ammo, so that's very good. And lastly, I got some Iron Companion Gloves, which I'm also going to keep because it came with Intellect Discipline, Increased Grenade Throw Distance, which I really like, and Increased Reload Speed of Scout Rifles. So, not too bad. And finally, let's move on to my Weekly Crucible Bounties. So, first up on my Titan, the bounty gave me 17 Strange Coins. Now, I'm actually not too bothered by this at all. I'm trying to save up my Strange Coins and Motes of Light and other materials. So, this is actually going to be useful because there aren't really many other weapons that I need right now, other than maybe a couple of God Rolls, but there's not much I could have gotten from the weekly bounties that I don't have. So, I actually kind of prefer 17 Strange Coins over a weapon. Next up for my Warlock, I got the Auto Rifle Red Spectre. Although, again, it didn't come with any good perks on this thing. It came with Replenish and Icarus, so this is just going to be an instant dismantle as well. And finally on my Hunter, I got the Hand Cannon, the Revelator. And surprise, surprise, it came with some bad perks. It did come with Luck in the Chamber, but the rest of the perks are just terrible. It came with Surrounded, Extended Mag, Casket Mag, and Oil Frame. Guess what that means? Instant dismantle. I think I'm going to be sticking with my Lord High Fixer here. So, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you got any good loot this week from the Iron Banner. Let me know if you got any sort of God Roll weapons or anything. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.